Uh, today I'll be jumping into Mass Effect. It's a series I have never played, but I feel like I should have. So here we are. I played um Dragon Age series. I think last year or the year before. I think it was last year. So I figured why not play the other one as well? Space one. I've literally not done anything. <laughs> Just have it loads. Cool. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Uh oh. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. I'm just going to double check that my mic is working awesome. Um. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn? And I'll let him change my record of his family. <laughs> Doesn't happen. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. 
I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Mm. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. Uh. Exit. Oh, I thought I could change my face. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay. Please log in to access your profile. Here we go. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Confirm psychological profile. Confirm military specialization. Confirm facial identification.
Oh, interesting.
Yeah, I'm gonna say that's good enough. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. Shit, maybe that face is I'm not quite old. right. <laughs> I think the cheekbones are a little fucked up. Too bad. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. That means 1500 kilometers off, so that's pretty good. Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on considering the space. Bathroom, that's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Now, bad feelings are an occupation. Yeah, that takes a lot of We don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason. So, what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Oh. It's not too bad. Oh, shit. How do I, um, <laughs> how do I, what do you call it? Well, just put my weapons away, basically. Trolls. Okay, key bindings. Punker current scroll. We 
Regroup. Sound controls, chemistry configuration. I'll walk, toggle crouch. Oh, just had to bloody scroll down. Equipment was I, which makes sense. Aim for holster. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Holster. Okay. Guess I'm not going that way then. We're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, no. but you have to admit something's odd about this mission. I better head down and see the. No, my face is fucked. Just save the bloody code from before. Classified information requested. Yeah, my cheeks way too sunken. It looks a lot like a ghoul, but not in a good way. Secure connection confirmed. Damn. Please log in to access your profile. Well, at least I know roughly what I'm doing, so. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service psychological profile. Social survivor. Military specialization. From trader. Facial identification. Change appearance. Structure was the last one. Skin tone is the last. Complexion is that one. Yeah. yeah. Cheekbones are average. Cheek width. Already a little bit better.
Okay, so that's my hair. Close to my hair now. Better than before. Still not quite happy with it. It looks fairly normal at the very least. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Confident this time. Profile reconstruction complete. Confirm facial identification.
I think that's as close as I'm gonna get. I'm still tempted to keep tweaking though. I'll never get. I won't get started tonight if I, at this rate. It's not quite right. A bit better. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification it doesn't look terrible. Be good if I could skip this intro. Starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call.
Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Fuck, I'm all right, Elon Musk. Oh, I didn't want that. No, I don't. That's just me, probably been paranoid. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size eh, of the pin. Doesn't look half bad. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Good enough. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. 
Victorians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national... getting dragged right along congratulations commander looks like we had a smooth run you heading down to see the captain sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest sorry commander just having a chat with Adams down but you have to admit something's odd about this mission the whole crew feels it you think the Alliance brass is holding out on us if all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system why is Captain Anderson in charge and then there's Nihilus Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it meant the norm. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, Captain. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big. I'll see if I can get some answers. Good luck, Commander. Commander, we won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. I try not to think about a coos. 
Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Roughly 12 Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need The beacon is not the only reason I'm Nihilus here. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks... Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable... That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human? Not all Turians back? resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Proteans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees 
galactic civilization. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, that was just a small data cache. What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty... They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus Technically, is... Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden... Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! That's not good. Can't see anything there. out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold at 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secured, Commander. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Oh god, what happened here? I guess that's pistol, rifle, shotgun, sniper.
his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Oh wait, that's where I came from. Yikes. What's the point in that? That's an intimidation tactic or? Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming. Created 
They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers? I don't know. Website? They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fair. Describe back. what happened leading we up to We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the... Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not if you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. Roughly 12, 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of the Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. The terminus systems are located on the far side of the Attican Traverse, beyond the space administered by the Citadel Council or claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. It is populated by a loose affiliation of minor species, united only in their refusal to acknowledge the political authority of the Council or adhere to the Citadel Conventions. Their independence comes at a... Kinetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against... Wearing a lot on. How do I do upgrades?
Ah. I pass the shield when it does less damage. He seems to favor the assault rifle, so. I zoom out on the view. Can I zoom out? Or scaling. level middle mouse button. God damn it, I've gone backwards again, aren't I?
the thing even though we're here yet? No, it does. Just hope it does. Oh, don't tell me it's stuck in the rock. Okay, it's not. More damage, more fire, but it's not as accurate. I mean, for a shotgun, you're not really going for accuracy, you're going for power. But it's just the worst rifle overall. anyone got out of here alive if they were lucky maybe hiding up in the camp it's just on the top of this ridge up the ramps change of plans Shepard there's a small spaceport up ahead I want to check it out I'll wait for you there Little bodies. Oh, it's turning them into gas. Oh God, they're still alive. What did the gas do to them? I'm elated. Didn't want the sniper. Area secured. Regroup. Uh, shift. How do I populate the quick slots? After the Geth secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth. A reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount. Combat hard suits use a dual kinetic.
Now, what was it I wanted to check? Uh, uh, oh, that's right. How do I fill out the short keys? Quick slots. Right, so I can't do weapon selections. hitting shift to run Right, so there's no reloading, it's overheating. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. In all. like the sound of the pulse rifle.
Commander, it's Nihilus. You did? Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? They never had a chance. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind you the crates. You survived because you're lazy? Tell me about the Geth attack. It's quick. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the... Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole... Tell me about this... And it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. We need to find that beacon before Take the cargo it's... train. I, I, I can't stay. Take out those hostiles!
not very good with the grenades. Come on, stand up, you asshole. Friendly fire. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down.
Where the hell did that come from? Oh shit, there's still one charge. I thought we got them all. Fuck, it's above us, isn't it? Fuck. I've done stuffed up. Demolition charges. The guests must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. This time, I'm paying a little bit more attention.
shortcut pre kill them. So it's like a game of leapfrog. Okay, well now I know. Safe until the Geth showed up. And it's not up here. It's the walk wife. Hello. Oh, the armor upgrades. Okay, that was my first armor upgrade. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy. Right. 
Ah, it's empty. Yes, I accidentally... Oh Jesus, this is still the prologue. This guy should take a really long cut scene and I'd have to go. Probably hop off after this cutscene. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate... Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Wait, I'm about to be attacked. Don't even think we understood any of that. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. 
Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what... The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council... I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. Saren's a Spectre, one of the best. A living legend. A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes... He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take it's him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke I'll contact us. the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an... We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Nice. Still a lot of people in one body thing. Just in here. Accessing that sir. Uh, <sighs> got medical robotics. Oh, hello. I think I'm gonna call it for tonight, um, cause I gotta hop off and do some stuff. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, you wanna check out the Twitch stream live, link will be in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash 96 But yeah, that is gonna be it. Um, I might stream on Thursday night, um, but if not, I'm probably not going to be back on stream until next week because um, PAX Australia is on this week and, and I'm going to all three days, so obviously I won't have much time to stream, but yeah, I'll continue on with this. Uh, yes. It's a game.
exit. So, till next time, see you later.